stop you from doing what you can do. Hi. So today we start our 30 day countdown to PSLE. So we will be doing one question every day as we count down. So let's look at this question. The table below shows how marks are awarded for answering 72 questions in a quiz. Every correct answer, 5 marks awarded. Every question not answered, 0 marks. Every wrong answer, 3 marks are deducted. Okay, so Ben did not answer 6 questions and he scored 178 marks. So we need to find out how many questions he answered correctly. So this question, I will be using uh, the assumption method or supposition method to solve. So now in this case, there is uh, this part where they said the six questions not answered, right? So I'm going to take the six questions not answered and I'm going to change them to answered correctly instead. So I'm going to take the six questions if answered correctly, 5 marks awarded each, right? So 6 times 5, that will be 30 marks. I will add the 30 extra marks now to the total total score of 178. So 178 plus 30. So right now, total marks would be 208. So right now, I'm going to assume that all 72 questions are answered correctly. Total marks would be 72 times 5 which is 360. The difference in the total marks would be 360 minus 208. We have 152 points. What's the difference between answered correctly and answered wrongly? Answered correctly, you get 5 marks. Answered wrongly, 3 marks deducted. So what's the difference between answered correctly and answered wrongly? It's actually 8 marks. Okay, so therefore we can actually find out a number of wrong answers. It would be 152 divided by 8. So Ben answered 19 wrongly. So if he answered 19 wrongly, how many did he answer correctly? Total questions are 72, take away the 19 answered wrongly and take away the 6 that he did not answer, we will get 47. So he answered 47 questions correctly. That's all for this question. See you tomorrow.